It's Earthmaster here, jumping on the Earthquake Live 3D stream just to announce a pretty good increase in rapid earthquake activity down there in the southern part of the San Andreas Fault System there. I'm going to take you over here to this little map here. You can see the earthquake activity showing up on some of the seismograph stations there and also on the Earthquake 3D Globe 3.5 kicking off there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring that up. There we go. Uh, you can see the Salton Sea region here within this activity uh, to the north. Huge cluster of rapid back-to-back -back earthquakes here, and I'm talking within uh, a minute or so of each other. Very intense swarming going on there near Westmoreland, California. You got Brawley down here as well. This here is the southern segment branch of the southern or the uh, San Andreas Fault System, which sits right up here. You can see that the southern part of it. They crawl. They call this the Brawley Seismic Zone, but it's basically just an extended section of the San Andreas Fault there. And then it runs into the Imperial Fault down here to the south. This activity is just right here about in the middle or to the south end of the Brawley Seismic Zone, which again is a, a good portion of the San Andreas Fault system right here. Now take a look at the number of earthquakes that are kicking off right there. We've got about 26 earthquakes or so that has basically just kicked off here uh, within the past Oh, I'd say past hour or so where we've seen just and these are not microquakes either that are kicking off uh, Just within the past couple minutes there. We've had a couple threes quite a few twos and ones in there as well uh, Another three there. So this is kind of a big deal when it comes to swarming. I think we looked at this last night During the update video. I, I believe we just seen a couple small quakes there around that area well, this has definitely grown into uh, a pretty big swarm at the moment there. And like I said, back to back, uh, kind of like rapid succession there of the earthquakes. And you can see it on this map here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this here. The, the station I have it closest to, or at least the seismograph station there, is going to be this Bar Bar Barrett, California station there. It's kind of to the south. This local station here sits to the southwest of the uh, uh, west southwest of the uh, current swarm that's going on there, uh, and that's you can see those earthquakes there popping up there on the seismograph there. Well, now you can't because it's it's uh, scrolled up, but uh, definitely some interesting activity kicking off at the moment. And I don't know why I keep bringing that back. I need to <laughs> get rid of that image. Um, there we go. So yeah. Be on alert, folks. Uh, this is, you know, potentially something that could trigger a major earthquake out there, especially in a very sensitive area, such as the locked section of the San Andreas Fault here, the southern part that has not seen a release of energy in quite some time. Uh, swarms tend to occur, not always, uh, tend to occur prior to a larger quake. And let's hope that's not the case today, but uh, I figured I would jump on real quick, share with you guys uh, the intense warming that's going on. Like I say, look at some of these times over here. Okay, 2308, 2306, 2305, 2305, 2304, all within a couple minutes of, a, of each other, back to back. Uh, small quakes, okay, but these are not microquakes. These are, uh, you know, 2.5 and above, up to 3.7 there, uh, the largest it looks like right there. And these are concerning. So be on guard if you are down there in Southern California. We are keeping an eye on it. The depth of these earthquakes are variable. These are not in one consistent location. And that's the other uh, kind of troublesome, worrisome thing is the difference in the depth of all these earthquakes there. Ranging from just about uh, one kilometer below the surface all the way down to nine kilometers or so and everything in between. So some major movement going on down there in an area where uh, we don't want to see activity there. That bad boy the southern part here of the San Andreas Fault. We're continue, continuing to monitor it and we will provide updates uh, if we need to. Once again that swarm is occurring on the southern part of the San Andreas Fault and you can see that right there on the Barrett station there uh, down in Southern California. That's a pretty close station there to the activity. We'll be off here on the side folks kind of monitoring the uh, activity.